I can't think of it. Milo's body is still in that cave with the absconder. The absconder? Aye, Milo's name for the Acromantula. He did have a flair for the dramatic. In fact, as he died, Milo begged me to take his heirloom pocket watch so that his daughter would have something to remember him by. But I... I fled. Hello there, my name is and welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. Peeves, leave me be. Oh, hang on. Revelio. Uh, well, sorry, got distracted. Uh, we need to go and talk with Mr. Moon because I went around and collected moons. A uh, portrait of Bafario. Bafar? Bar Barufio. Barufio? This portrait depicts the wizard Barufio. Bar yeah, Barufio. Uh, famed for his brain elixir as an example of what happened when incantations are improperly spoken. He once said S instead of F and found himself on the floor with an ethlo with a buffalo on his chest. Alright. That kind of makes sense. So I went around to a lot of the little towns that we've been to and found them the demiguises. So, we should have enough to turn in to get the next level. Hello, Mr. Moon. Oh, greetings! Uh, any luck removing some more of those demiguise statues? I actually have some moons for you. Oh, my mind feels lighter already knowing those statues are gone. I did promise to show you how to improve casting Alahamora once you'd brought me enough moons. Oh, with that knowledge, you'll be able to break open even stronger locks. Mm. However, we don't yet know who's behind these statues. <laughs> Still plenty of the foul things lying in wait to torture me. Oh. If you bring me more moons, I'll show you how to cast the most powerful form of Alohomora known to wizard kind. <laughs> At least known to me. <laughs> so, yeah. So we're Keep at level two. Those moons, hmm? You'll save we're at my level two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get away from him because he's pretty much yelling at us. <laughs> so we're at level two. Level th to get to level three, we need uh, quests. Man behind the moons. Thirteen more. Uh, those are just going to be all over the place. So we're going to have to come to that eventually. I think it's probably about time we go and do go see Amelda, get our broom upgrade started. And then we can Oh, not Hogwarts. I haven't picked up any in Hogsmeade yet. So all the ones in Hogsmeade, they're still there. I haven't touched them because I know for a fact there's a few that are locked behind Excuse me, locked behind doors and they're just going to be annoying to get. So like this one we got the demi guys out of it. Oh, what is this one? Oh, carted away is there. Okay. Uh, this one? Yeah, we got that one. And, but like over here, haven't been, so we haven't collected any yet. There's typically like one per one or two of these in each little town. Uh, but essentially, you have to wait till we gain access to this lower section for us to really gain access to the, well, to get the level three one unless you're gonna try and hunt around hogwarts to get the n how many are in hogwarts there's six more in hogwarts that we could potentially find unlikely but you never know and then you are dying there so we could theoretically get the level three one but that's unlikely so we're just gonna head down to imelda I'm just going to fast travel here. This one... I mean, all the broom upgrades do basically the same thing. They make your broom... Excuse me. Uh, move a little bit faster. And uh, be a little bit more responsive. Uh, it's what, here? Revelio. There it is. At the front of the bar. Ginger root. The barkeep in Keenbridge keeps a stock of ginger root handy to fend off his customers' nausea and 
keep them imbibing a bit longer. That's kind of devious, but okay. I mean, I have no issue with that. Uh, I think this... Yeah, this house is one. Rebellion. Oh, the Tilted House. The locals call this the Tilted House due to its odd angle at which it sits wrapped in the roots of an overhanging tree. That's cool. Uh, and we need to go... There's one over here. Now these pop up once you're in the area and you cast Revelio. Uh, typically, if you're on your broom and you cast it, it'll pop up quicker. Revelio. Or you'll have an easier time. Uh, beehives. The wizarding world needs honey for their tea as much as the muggle world does. That's very nice. Uh, that's a wand handle. I know that for a fact. And... Oh, it's locked. It's another wand handle. What level? Level one? Yeah, why not? Alohomora. Ah, kitty. Don't mind me, we're just going upstairs. And back out. Uh, the chest in there... Oop, if I get the door, not the wall. Uh, the chest in there will probably give us either money, a potion... Rebellion. Or... Very most likely... Also, it's just going to give us a low-level piece of item, of gear, that we already have, something similar. All right, Imelda. It's going to Oh, merchant. Hello. Do you have anything for sale? Hello. It's not often I see how good students are during the school year. I'm Priya Treadwell at your service, and I sell a variety of traveling necessities. Cool. Are you related to Nora Treadwell? Why, yes. She's my wife. Brilliant historian. Did you know that she's pursuing Merlin's life's work? I actually met her, and she introduced me to her work. I'm involved in it now as well. Uh, I hope that you'll think of me whenever. You yeah, that's nice. What do you have to say? I forgot who they were, who uh, Treadwell was. Let's have a look, shall we? So she sells a un well, not unique broom. She sells one of the brooms that you can buy, and you can only get it from her. You won't be disappointed. I can promise you that. So nice of you to stop by. Uh, <laughs> that's not what I wanted to do. It's gear rooms and so that's the one we got from popping balloons I believe it was and this one is a family antique it's your classic which is broom uh, but we're gonna stick with this one and there are only two more upgrades for our broom we can get and spoiler alert it's doing time trials for within Malda Here we are. Mr. Weeks wasn't wrong about the mountain Here's views. Weakness. If it isn't the fastest Hufflepuff. Yep, yes it is. Hello, Imelda. So, another trial? <laughs> of course it's another trial. And you'd better be taking part. Does this mean you've changed your mind about me? Well, you're a step up from the good-for-nothings who usually challenge me. Well, they sit around and hope to be the best. I put in hours of practice. No one sets records by wishing for them. And I need strong competition to stay on top of my game. Are you going to try to beat my flying record or not? Absolutely. I'm ready to fly. Finally, a decent challenge. 
Now luckily, you can do this as many times as you need to. Oh. Oh. I'd say that was acceptable. The fuck, dude? That one just barged me off the course. <laughs> now that's more like it. Every now and then it wants to get cinematic with the broom flying. And that's dangerous. Past the halfway point. Brilliant. do is finish now or we'll be golden. Oh. I'm getting the hang of this. Just overcorrecting too much. <laughs> this is rather fun. Give it a second. Now we can exit. You've improved, I must admit. That was a bloody good run. Be careful. Earn a reputation for talent around here, and some people get put out about it. Sounds like you're speaking from experience. Yes, well, I am. Anyway, you didn't do abysmally. I can't deny that. But... You'll not have the same luck on the South Coast course. We'll see, won't we? Till next time. I half expected you to back down. Rest on your laurels. See you at the South Coast trial, if you don't lose your nerve. To race this course again, visit the podium with the leaderboard, where you can start the race and check your time. Yeah. Uh... Another successful flight. I should let Mr. Weeks know. Okay. Yeah, well, not bad. I mean, we're only seven seconds off the main leader. That's actually pretty good. So, yeah, we go. Let him know. Fucking Wigan Weld. Uh, while we're here, we should unlock this village. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. Oh, it's not the village. It's not that dangerous. Handy refill. Oh, nope, didn't land. Oh, they fixed that, did they? All right. Enjoy your time in Irondale. Shame about porridge. I mean, when I say they they fixed that, usually well, you used to be able to fly by and just kind of spawn or have the flu. Activate so you don't have to actually huh. land on it. Rebellion. It's farther over. A jeweled brooch. This gorgeous brooch depicts a magical bird of some sort. Of which particular magical bird is unclear, but some believe it's meant to be one of the medieval Irish druidesses. Kalinda's bird. Medieval Irish Judas's Colinda's birds who sing the sick to sleep. Kind of looks like a peacock or a uh, whatchamacallit. Uh, 
Not saying I don't catch the odd. Revelio. Peacock or Phoenix. So right now I'm just looking for the demi guys that's in this area. Is it in this one? Huh. Well, let's do this properly. There's one demi guys in here. Okay, good. Revelio. Only a hairy-hearted sod would cast Defendo on a cow. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, there's an achievement for casting Flapendo on cows. So people tend to not be too happy about it. No. Where is it? There's too many things to see. Let's clear this. Let's clear I know some what of that means. Merlin trial. Yeah, let's clear some of this stuff out. So it's just a shooty one. We just gotta pop these. Those. Revelio. Where? Oh. Too far from those. Protego. That's not jump. Uh, those. It's okay. We'll, we'll be fine. We're not doing this incredibly elegantly, but elegant enough. So we got that one. Revelio. These Merlin trials won't get the best of me. Okay, so that's a little bit... Revelio. That cleans up the UI a bit. I'm thinking it's in this house. Given the that Hello, it's locked. Stuff that's nice. Huh, okay. Well, then we're gonna have to do this. Unless that counts as part of the village as well. Let's do this. Let's put it to nighttime. Oh, that's a nice touch. A rainbow over the waterfall. Revelio. Okay. What's l level two? Okay. There he is. Oh, how I love good coffee. Yeah. He looks like a potato or a lock from a distance. So if you're not careful, you can miss him multiple, multiple fucking times. Which isn't great, but it happens. Uh, while we're here, you we might as well just try and clear out all the collectibles. Oh, uh, where's the chest? Oh, behind the wall. Don't mind me, sir. I'm just robbing your house. Uh, there's one up. <laughs> Here. Uh, 
Yeah, Goblin Loyalists. They're, really, they're scouting out the village for an attack. No. Revelio. Is that all the chests? I think that's all the chests. Uh, let's pop these balloons so we don't forget about them. Up oh, in a landing platform. And you know what? Absolutely. Just a little pop. And forward. Nope, we're out of speed. There we go. Now. Rebellio. Well, we should probably get that big one over here too. Before we might miss it later. Alohomora. We have level two. It's exactly the same as level one. There we go. Revelio. Unidentified item. All right. Now we can get out of here. There should be everything in this town. Yeah, completed. So we don't have to come back here except for this little quest to, oh. Yeah, we get a special wand. A special wand, a special wand handle, excuse me. All right, Mr. Weeks. Back from your latest flight. I want to hear all the particulars. Good news, Mr. Weeks. With your upgrade, I was able to set a new record at the Irondale course. Brilliant! I knew the upgrade had fantastic potential. How did your broom feel? It rides well. It does get a tad shaky at top speed, and the handle wobbles a bit when I hit a strong gust of wind. Ah, yes. Hmm, I see. I think I know how to address that. Thank you. I owe you one. If it means another upgrade, the pleasure's all mine. You sound as determined as I am to improve broom flight. It's a joy to have a collaborator like yourself. If I'm right, and I do hope I am, you'll be hearing good news from me soon. Mm. Thank you again, truly. Yeah. So this upgrade won't be... Mr. Weeks and I do make a good team. It won't be ready for a while. It's tied to main story progression as soon as it'll become available. Or is it? I forget what it's tied to. I think it's tied to main story progression. You can only get it after a certain point. But that doesn't matter, really. I mean. Uh, what else do we have to do? We have to do? Uh, they want us to do that. But we don't want to. Let's do a deliver. This isn't that hard. This is just a kind of world building quest to make you love and understand the world. Or to more to draw you in, I guess, would kind of be a better way to phrase it. Hello there. In the market for potions, are we? What can I do for you today? That was the wrong thing, but we can sell our stuff here by accident. I wanted to talk to him about the other thing. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Hello, Mr. Pippin. You need help with the delivery? Yes, I do. A capable student such as yourself should have no trouble making the trip to Cambridge. It's just south of Hogwarts. What do you need delivered? Fatima Lawang ordered a few invisibility potions. I used to go myself, but lately Fatima has taken to turning every visit into an argument. Constantly complaining about the quality of my stock. 
But how can I maintain excellence when she orders so often, giving me no time to brew? If you'd take this rather irritating task off my hands, I'd happily allow you to claim the delivery fee from Fatima. Hmm. I'd be happy to help with the delivery. You've no idea how grateful I am, truly. Here are the invisibility potions she requested. Hopefully she won't give you too much trouble. She's a talented potioner in her own right. I dare say I wouldn't mind having a look at her potion recipes one day. Oh, you coy... You coy heartbreaker, Mr. J. Pippin Potions. What's his name? Pippin? Yeah, Mr. Pippin. So this quest is... We've had it for... Well, since... Before the seasons changed. So this was meant to have us go down south to help explore and it just get us out in the world a bit more. So as you can see, it's all the way down here, which we've already been to, but this is meant to get you down here and force you to travel. But it's all the same. It doesn't really matter. I don't think there's really any hard limiters on quests uh, in that there'll be things that will prevent oh, you from doing a quest uh, permanently that is madam luang i have a delivery from j pippin's potions <laughs> sent a child to do his work for him did he always cutting corners and taking the easy way out did he have your bro them for him as well doesn't matter you could probably do it better than he can anyway Why do you keep ordering from him if you think the quality to be inferior? It would seem I have more and more customers who are trying to stay out of sight. I'm not one to judge. You can simply imagine the stress but I'm under to deliver quality products. Unlike some vendors, I strive to keep my customers satisfied. Yeah, I doubt that. Here are the potions you requested. You think it's so simple? I know Pippin is always trying to cheat his customers. Cutting corners to save some galleons for himself at the expense of quality. You'll not be getting a canut out of me until you prove the potion works. Drink it. Sure. Seems simple enough. I'll do it. I should think so. All right. So left bumper. Endurus. Yeah. Invisibility. <laughs> It seems to have worked. Hmm. Well, I suppose that will do. If the demand for potions is as high as you say, have you considered being easier to work with? Perhaps combining your recipes and skills? Ha! <laughs> Not such chance. That ne'er do well had his shop handed to him. The rest of us had to make our own way. I'll not give him the benefit of my hard work and gumption. If he fails on his own, so be it. But he's not failing. He has a successful shop. Very well. I shall let Mr. Pippin know I delivered the potions as requested. You do that. What do you have to sell? What do you have for sale? What are we looking for today? Ah, oh, you have nothing to value. Thank you for stopping in. I appreciate it. Nah, you say that, but the way you were talking to me earlier makes me seriously doubt that. Uh, we want to go to... Nope, Hog, not Hogwarts, Hogsmeade. Uh, Mr. Pippin. Some people, you can just never please. And when you own your own business or run a business, you have to learn to... That it, sometimes it's best just to lose business of a customer to keep the employees and the business working smoothly. Come on in. Healing potions are a speciality here, should you need any. I delivered the potions to Fatima Luang. Very good. And uh, did she cause you any trouble? Uh, Nothing to worry about. Yeah. I handled it. Glad to hear it. And thank you again for your help. I like an additional fee. No, we're not going to be a dick. It was a pleasure doing business with you, Mr. Pippin. Likewise. <laughs> Worth every bit of that delivery fee to have someone capable deal with that witch. 
Best of luck with your potions, Mr. Pippin. Do take care. Yeah, I mean... She may not like it. Oh! She may not like him, but that's... No problem off for me. It's... I don't care. It's not like I invested in this shop or anything. Uh, well, we got a hat, didn't we? Oh, yeah. There we go. That's great. Look at that. Just... just mwah, beautiful. Oh, and let's change our wand handle. It's been a while since we changed it. How about that one? Got a spiral. Some leaves. Ah, there we go. Beautiful. God, we look so ridiculous. I love it. I love it. Alright, so we're gonna go meet another... Uh... Purveyor of goods, let's say. This one... I think he's, he sells another broom. I think we have enough to buy it. Oh, the people in here, they'll ask for help, like a potion or whatever. Uh, don't give it to them because you don't get anything for it. You there? No, because you want an invisibility potion. And you're going to give me absolutely nothing for it. So there's no point. Hello, sir. Yeah, you're, yeah, you're sir. Hello. Do you have anything for sale? That I do. But uh, what's a student like yourself doing out here? Got yourself lost, did you? Oh, I love that beard. Just exploring the countryside a bit. Hi. <laughs> nice to break the routine now and then. Bit of a wanderer myself, in fact. The name's Leopold Babcock. And I am indeed here to sell. <laughs> now... For someone like yourself who is also prone to wander, I cannot understate the importance of keeping some Wigan Weld potion on hand. I wouldn't dare set foot in a place like the Forbidden Forest without a steady supply. Absolutely, that's why I got 25 of them. A measure of safety for the path ahead? Something to consider. Thank you for your help, Mr. Babcock. Aye, let me know if you see something you like. I mean, we have, what, what 25, have right? It's a shame See if there's something you need. We can't sell those. That's a shame. Because they're charging 100. We could sell them for 50 each. 5,000 bucks for the broom scythe. Okay, I forgot about that. Uh, that is the most expensive broom. And he is the only one that sells this. It's purely cosmetic. That is it. But it's also That's one of the nicer ones. Pleasure. Until you do all the little... Popping the balloon challenges. Uh, we don't want to do that. Let's. What's this one? Oh, wrong one. Ah, come on. Wand handle. Edgar. Oh, who's. Oh, Leopold. He's here as well. Okay. Oh, through guy page. Uh, let us get that before we forget about it. Because when it gets near the end of the game and you're missing like two pages, you're like, uh-oh. Where are they? It's somewhere out in the world? That ought to be great. Ooh, there's lots of chests in here too. Can we clear this out while we're here? Oh, I made the first rule. Revelio. The mistake of the first rule. I didn't hit Revelio. Because if I hit it, it would have saved me time. Kundringo. Nope, missed. Ooh, pink swirl. Cool. Uh, Revelio. In there. What level lock? Three? Level one? Alohomora. Ha! I sneer at your level one lock and raise you my level two lock picking skills. Uh, 
Okay. Sure. I don't know why I didn't want to pick that one up the first time, but sure. Oop, come on, pick it up. A book stand. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Uh, we want to come here. Oh, ignore the little rendering glitch. Revelio. Uh, over here. Level three, I'm taking it. Yep, level three. Items. Level. Hello, I didn't see what it level it was, but it doesn't matter because we got access. There we go. Revelio. Upstairs. Yes, it is. Ooh, it's a wand. Wand handle. Regal blue. Uh, let's see. Oh, Milo. What am I to do? That's not what I wanted to do because I hit the wrong button. Close enough, though. Regal blue is... Yeah, I like that one the best. I think that's the my f one of my favorite ones. Pink swirl is nice, but I prefer the regal blue. Just something about the color combination is nice. Revelio. Uh, where's the book page? Is it here? Spider parts. It seems someone has been collecting acromantula parts for profit. Lucrative, perhaps, if one is willing to risk one's life to obtain the required inventory. Uh, let's pick up this quest while we're here. Is there something I can help you with, Mr. Adley? Edgar Adley? Uh, no. No, I don't think so. Blast Milo and his mad schemes. Milo? He was my friend. Came to me a few days ago with a brilliant plan to make some quick galleons. All I had to do was follow him into the Forbidden Forest. Had I known he wanted to procure venom from a living Acromantula. Oh, poor Milo. He didn't deserve to go like that. Hmm. I think he did deserve it. <laughs> I'm very sorry to hear about your friend. Oh, thank you. I can't think of it. Milo's body is still in that cave with the absconder. The absconder? Aye, Milo's name for the Acromantula. He did have a flair for the dramatic. <laughs> In fact, as he died, Milo begged me to take his heirloom pocket watch. Uh, so that his daughter would have something to remember him by. But I... Uh, I fled. You coward. Well, the, the Venom is very expensive and very profitable if you can get it. If I have time, I can try to collect the heirloom watch, Mr. Adley. You can't possibly go to the Acromantula's cave. You'd be killed. Please, forget I said anything. Oh. Don't worry. It's not that hard. Uh, the main thing, you just had to have fire spells. Now, where could that Acromantula cave be? Oh, it's in the Forbidden Forest. That's going to be another episode, though. Because we have... Things to do. And one of them... Is... Uh, the... The weird color is part of a shader issue. So it'll eventually get fix itself. But it's just having a, a little bit of a fit right now. No, I swear I won't be wasting your time. <laughs> and I'm grateful for the Revelio. Is it the Hang on, where is it here? Yeah, there it is. Hogsmeade Station Ticket Office. This station has stood here since the early 1800s, when Ministry for Magic Adelaine Gamble acquired a steam engine to transport students to Hogwarts. The station appeared in Hogsmeade virtually overnight, just after the train did. The operations involved using 
The operation involved using a lot of memory charms on muggle workers and the largest mass concealment charm ever performed in Britain. Well, I'd hope that they did. Otherwise, what else would they be doing there? Oh, look at that view. It's actually kind of nice. This game is really pretty at times. Then the other one, it's like, oh my god, what happened? Ah, <sighs> but I think that's gonna do it for this episode. Uh, we'll pick it back up next time. Uh, until then, thanks for watching, and I'll see you then. Bye bye.